Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the comparison between covariance based SEM and partial least square SEM. Right. I'll take the top five features and see the difference between this uh, covariance based SEM and partial least square SEM. Covariance based SEM is uh, the software which we use is SPS AMOS which handles this covariance based SEM and the smart PLS this is a software which you can handle past partial least square SEM. So let us see what is the major difference between this uh, covariance SEM and uh, uh, smart PLS this is partial least square SEM. The first one is focus. The covariance based matrix will focus on observed variables that is covariance based SCM primarily focus on estimating and analyzing the, co the covariance matrix among observed variables. It aims to estimate the magnitude and direction of relationship between variables basing on the covariance. That is why we have in uh, space AMO CFA will be the confirmatory factor analysis where we have correlation between the variables will be the but in smart PLS we don't have that one why because partial least square SCM on the other hand emphasizes the prediction and ex explanation of the latent variables PLS SCM is designed to estimate the relationship between the latent variables and their indicators giving more weight to predictive power rather than covariance means the focus of covariance base the name itself is covariance it always try to understand the correlation or covariance between the observed variables whereas smart PLS is a predictive one is a predictive or explanation of the latent variables second feature is sample size in terms of sample size this AMOS require large sample size whereas smart PLS will work well with a small size that is covariance base typically require a large sample size to provide stable estimation and accurate results. It relies on the asymptotic distribution theory to obtain the reliable parameter estimation. Whereas smart PLS that is PLS SEM works effectively with a small sample size makes it more suitable for situation where data availability is limited. PLS SEM employs a non-parametric approach and uses bootstrapping technique for hypothesis testing. So what we can understand is the AMOS require large sample size and uh, this uh, smart PLS require small sample size and approach also here it is working on non-parametric approach, non-normal distributed data. Now let us see the next model complexions. Suitable, this uh, covariance based is suitable for complex models whereas PLS SCM handles higher order latent variables, formative models and non-normal data. So let us see, covariance based SCM is well suits for analyzing complex models with many variables and intensificate the relationship it can handle models with multiple latent variables and a large number of indicators. Whereas PLS SEM is particularly adva advantageous when dealing with complex models that involve higher order latent variables. Formative measure models or non-normal data PLS SEM provides flexible in modeling complex relationships and is more forgiving of a deviation from multivariate normality assumption. So when your data is not normally distributed, it's better to go with a smart PLS. But if you are talking about more complex data relationship between the observed variables, it's better to go with a uh, covariance based SEM. Now let us come to the fourth one, model evaluations. The CBSCM, that is covariance based SCM, uh, sees the model fit such as chi square, CFI, RMSEA. Whereas uh, smart PLS will deal with 
SR, MR and AV, average variance extraction, this F model indices, it will be checking. And let us see the last one, which is very important, handling the missing data. The covariance base require complex, uh, require completed data or specific technique. But a partial least square, more flexible handling. Okay, so when you have missing data, it's better to go with the uh, smart PLS rather than this AMOS one. Okay, let us see like this one. Uh, covariance based SCM particularly require complex data uh, or relies on specific missing data handling techniques such as full information maximization likelihood estimation to handle missing values. Whereas partial least square SCM can handle missing data more flexible to the use of algorithms like pairwise deletion or mean substitution. This means PLS SCM more robust when dealing with incomplete data sets. So these are the differences, major differences between covariance based SCM and smart PLS that is a partial least square. SEMs. Basing on your data, on your properties of your data, on your research work, you need to select the appropriate software to handle or to do the analysis. I hope this video will be helpful for your research. Thank you.